racing around the outside of the track. Let's see. The first, the eighth race of the season. But as we're speaking of the eighth race, let's talk about the championship standings. By the way, I had to restart this race mainly due to track issues. And I, and yeah, I don't want to have track issues during the mid race, the middle of the pack race. So, so yeah, let's check out at Team Motorway. But at Minty Arena, Hazers did retake the lead away from the Crazy Cat's Eyes. Oh, Rangers is close, not cl is also very far behind the both Hazers and Crazy Cat's Eyes as this two, two race lead has continued to stay on. Huge battles. Savage Speeders also gained a lot of positions into 14th. So that's not a bad race for the Savage Speeders last race. But as we're talking, let's go straight to the real race. At the Moto Team Motorway, this qualifying will be started now. And immediately we're rolling across the first track. Green Ducks has the lead. As we're entering this mid mid, mid lap, and there we go, many marbles get shoved to the outside due to technical difficulties sometimes. As we're entering the second lap, Liners takes the inside. Team Momo takes the inside, however, and cuts across the inside and takes first place. Going around the final turn, Minty Maniacs also takes it, and Thunderbolts will take go second place briefly before getting past Ben Limers, which is having a great, which won the race last race. Team Momo is racing around the inside. Here comes Limers, rounding the entry, who goes around high, too high. Sam Speeders uses the advantage to take the lead. Team Momo around the inside, outside, I meant, and takes the win. Followed by Limers and the Savage Speeders being the top three. I'm excited to see how well this race will pan out. And we'll see you in the real race. Updates has been made a little bit. As, because I feel like the inside lane of this turn is just way too OP. So I made the speed halved. So yeah, so yeah, this race will be a little more interesting now. But as we're speaking of this race, let the race begin. Already on turn two, we already see the Limers launching themselves into the lead before the Jungle Jumpers gets hit. Goes around the outside. Definitely, you can see the slowness has prevailed. And you can see that it's more fair for the outside. And that compared to the inside, it's more closer together than one being completely broken. As we're talking to speak now, our Team Momo has the lead, and Jungle Jumpers on the outside went from first to third, and takes second place, however. Oh, Rangers also get stuck around the turn as we're entering lap two of nine. Cobalt's right there, rounding the inside, oh, Rangers passes. Four green marbles are on the top part of the standings? Jesus. Goes around the outside, comes to the inside. Battling with the inside, here comes Team Momo, here, but here comes the Green Ducks. Battles around the inside, here comes the Hazers, and Hazers beat their nemesis. However, it's still possible that they can still lose it, because we're still early in the race. As we're entering lap three, Green Jump, Team Momo around the outside, Jungle Jumpers chooses the, chooses the inside, and it looks very fair. O-Rangers versus Minty Maniacs, big collision, and that gets a boost to the O-Rangers. As we're entering the fourth lap, big inside move by the O Rangers over the jungle jumpers that goes too high on the turn and loses out. As we're all entering lap four, nice move by Team Momo to continue in the lead. O Rangers briefly at second place but dropped to four and then got back to third. But jump, then dropped back to fourth. Team Momo is just leading this race into the dust. Many marbles who chooses the outside are. This, this is going to be more fair is more fair, but it's still the inside's better, initially. Nice move by Snowballs as we're entering lap 5. Nice move by Team Momo. Ooh, but it gets caught up around the final turn. Now let's see Hazers get up again. Hazers is dominating these couple races and takes second place. Hazers is dominating these races and goes to the inside. Interesting move, and that kind of lowers the gap between it and the Team Momo. Rounding into lap 7, this is getting close. Nice inside side move, and let's say Hazers takes the lead. On lap 7, but Team Momo takes it back. 
interesting race between it and Hazers and Shimomo as we're entering lap 8. Still, lots of races left and the Hazers get stuck. That lets many marbles catch up to them as Shimomo raises the lead. With on lap 8, we're about to enter lap 9. Slow exiting the turn, however. Rasper Racers, one of the marbles at the low standings, is trying to do well. Goes to the inside, goes to, goes to the outside, and tries to maintain a lot of speed. Time Speeders does officially get locked. Ooh, Rasper Racers hits the attenuator way too hard and doesn't get affected by it, and goes straight into the inside. Last lap, lap 9. White flags out as well. Balls of Chaos is trying to escape Team Momo. But goes too high around the inside. Hazers blocks the Savage Speeders briefly, but Savage Speeders takes him back around the apex. Hairpin. Team Momo rounding the final turn. Savage Speeders, Hazers. Savage Speeders does get locked in the Team Momo, but win the race. Hazers, second place. Oceanics, O Rangers. Green Jungle Jumpers, Rasper Racers, Team Galactic, Cobalt. Green Ducks and the Misty Maniacs. Maybe top 10, maybe that's the, the first 11 marbles. I have no idea. Big upset, and Hazers once again getting another medal. Dominating these last few races. I don't know if anyone can beat the Hazers now. That Hazer, Hazers did lap two marbles. I'm pretty sure the Savage Speeders. Wait, is it only one? I think it's only one, actually. One marble, and that will give it 19 points. The pole sitters will also get some points, but holy jeez, Hazers dominating do this track. Anyways, the Moto Way, Team Moto Way race will be ended. We'll see you next time at Primary Palace. Let's go.